Hi wrestling fans, it's me Gerard Rainey and this is the third installment to um, Legends of Wrestling in Watercolor. Here's a athlete who needs no introduction, the Ultimate Warrior, um, won his first Intercontinental title, his title the Intercontinental title from the Honky Tonk Man, and won his first heavyweight championship from Hulk Hogan. Next we have the Rock and Roll Express. We have Robert Gibson, whom I met at Broadway. And the other half is Ricky Morton. Believe it or not, Ricky Morton has my artwork in his school in Chucky, Tennessee. If you go on Facebook, you'll you'll see School of Morton, Punch Up School of Morton. You'll see artwork of late greats that he posted in his school. All right, let's see who's next. Steiner Brothers. We have. The dog face gremlin Rick Steiner, whom I've had the pleasure of meeting in the lobby of the Sheridan in Reading, Pennsylvania. And we have his brother, uh, Scott Steiner, Big Papa Pump. No comment. Next, the Nasty Boys. We have Jerry Sags, cool guy, and Brian Nobbs. Met them at, at I'm sorry, JFK Rec Center in my hometown of Newark, New Jersey. And as you could see, um, they autographed the classic superstars figures that I have and were posing together and, and autographed the photo that I took with them. Next, the biggest star in the history of this business, Hulk Hogan himself. I received this autograph from him in April Fools because I gave him this artwork here. Let's look at it real closely. I think I captured his likeness pretty well. Give me your opinion on it. Next, we have Harley Race, the man's man in wrestling. Now, we have Nikolai Volkov, whom I've had the pleasure of meeting in Wildwood, New Jersey. Forgive me for the quality of the picture. It was very light. When when light hits you from the back, it's going to be a shadow casted, so that's why you see a silhouette, silhouettes of us. And then we have Terry Funk. Get a load of this. I gave him this picture, and nine years later, I met him in Rowley Rec Center, and here we are posing together. Nice man. And he wrote a little letter. He says, hey, Gerard, just a note to let you know. I really like the watercolor. I have it in my office. The best to you and your family, your friend Terry Funk. He didn't even have to do that. That was nice of him. Then we have the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase.